Welcome, welcome everybody. Pursuit here, playing some Space Engineers with my Firefly Serenity, and today I am demonstrating the uh, jump drive, which is down around, I'm in the ship right now, so it's kind of hard to zoom in on it, but this little attachment down here um, on the bottom of the ship is the jump drive. Um, and this one is detachable, hooked up by connectors, and I'm going to show you real quick how to use it and how to attach and detach it from the ship. So first off, let's look at the control panel here to to see how you would use it. Okay, so it's already connected and I have gone ahead and go into the G menu. Not that one. The other G menu. <laughs> um, if you go in here, you can take and drag in, you find the jump drive part, um, which there it is right there. It's connected to the ship. It's not part of the ship, but it's connected through the connectors. So you drag, if it's not already connected, which mine is already connected up, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. Um, dra dra drag this down here and put it so that this one jumps. And then drag this one down here and put it so you can turn it, the block on and off. And the reason for that is, let me show you, if I say, I'm just playing around and I meant to hit something else and I hit this and it says, um, yeah, okay, I'm ready to go. Sure. We're gonna jump. And you're like, oh no, never mind. You hit five, and it aborts. So, yeah, that's good to have. So let's turn it back on again. So it's just off and on, and it aborts the jump drive. Good feature to have, because you can't just... You can't just say four, and then hit four again. It, it doesn't turn it off. It just tries to keep going, so you turn it off and on again. So... With that out of the way, I'm going to show you how to attach and detach the jump drive. Now, there are two ways you can do it. One, you could get another ship to come in and hook up to those connectors there that are on the bottom, and then deconnect, disconnect the other ones. Um, but usually your ship doesn't fly very straight with that happening. So instead, what you can do is... Let's go ahead and... I'm not currently connected to this connector over here. Um, so let's go ahead and rotate the ship up and around and make sure we don't whack in anything while we're doing it. Um, turn about face. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> I think that was way too close. Um, now, I was hoping I could just move straight over, but it looks like I'm going to have to go up a little. And over. Until we can hook up along these landing gear. Um, I think I got enough room to clear this other ship over here. If I don't, well, I'm in trouble. Yes, I'm okay. I think I am. Let's go ahead and start reversing back into place. Kind of hard to see what's going on sometimes. Oh boy. We're not really in a bad position yet though because we're kind of above it. So let's go ahead. That looks like we're pretty much lined up, I think, where we need to be. So we can probably go over a little bit more so we don't run into the rest of the station here and let's go back down until we hit up I turn this on to auto connect um, this pad down here is on auto connect so hopefully I don't run anything else on the way down looks like I'm doing okay it looks like I've got clearance everywhere let's keep on going down until we get an auto connect a little bit closer there we go we have connection so once you've got connection, you can go in and find the connectors that are on the bottom of the ship. And I've labeled everything quite a bit in here, so hopefully you can figure it out. Let's see, we've got the connectors for the, let's see, the lower, jump drive lower. Okay, so both, oh, I just lost them again. Lower jump drive, so let's select both of those. And we can do two things we can, oh. I connected another one on there. I don't want to connect all this. Just control. There we go. I can just unlock them or I can turn them off. 
Um, something you might consider when you're doing this kind of thing, depending on the power of your ship, um, unlock is fine, um, but you're also going to have to deal with whether it's trying to suck onto the other ship. So let's see what happens if I just unlock and see if I can just pull away from it. Let's see if it doesn't yank it off with it. Let's go up. Okay, we're right. If you have trouble disconnecting from stuff sometimes, just turn off the connectors because, you know, th things like hook on all the time and you have problems with it not working properly. Yeah, that's what you do. So we're disconnected now. Um, you can no longer hit the forward button. Nothing happens. Nothing's going to happen because we have disconnected the jump drive. Um, so let's look at the mass of the ship right now. I'm just curious. We are at 1463. Let's go back down into place and see if we can hook this thing back up again. Um, come on. Connection. Let's get this good. And you also got to be careful you don't ram the bottom of your ship when you're doing this. So kind of pay attention. Okay. Looks like we've got yellow, which means we can now connect. Um... Let's go ahead and see if we can't connect those back up again. So connectors, and you could put a separate connectors up here. I don't think I did. Oh, look at that. I did. <laughs> I'm so good. Um, I actually got two of them, it looks like. Wow, I'm, I've am i overdone it. That's all right. Um, let's go ahead and lock this in place. And I noticed it did lock, so let's take a look. Got one side locked, got the other side locked, and let's see if we can just, let's see if we pull off hard enough away if it will unlock. Because these have a certain amount of strength that they use to stay in place. Nope, we are fastened to the station. We are fastened in place. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here in order to disconnect a little faster. I'm just going to pop out here, come down, and um, jump out of the cockpit. And I'm actually not out of the cockpit. I'm down here in the other place, but I'm just going to destroy this pad here so we get on our way. Okay, I'm no longer connected on there. And the game decided to lag. Okay, we're good. So let's jump back into the cockpit. I, that was F8, F6 gets me back to my character and back inside the cockpit. And let's go outside of the ship. And let's just see how well the movement works with this thing still hooked up to me. So if I, let's go up a little bit because I don't want to whack anything when I take off. Let's get a little bit higher. And let's just move a little bit here. So we're going forward. It doesn't look like he's doing a whole lot. Um, so 1463, so it's about 60 kilograms on there. My rotation is great. I have a lot of gyros on this thing. Um, it doesn't look like it's really affecting my ability to move at all. Um, it's a heavy ship, so yeah, it's going to take a little bit to get moving here. But it doesn't look like I'm really having any problem with it. Rotating my ship funny. Um, sometimes you get them pulling down or up, but I don't really see it doing anything to me. Yeah, it's it's pretty straight. I could be wrong. Sometimes you get a little bit of. It might be very a light amount of turn there, but it's really not that noticeable. And let's see if the jump drive still works, huh? Let's pop over to. Yeah, we got. One for the shuttles, unlocking of the shuttles, and we got this one for unlocking for the, using the hyperdrive. So let's go ahead and just test it and see if it works. Yep, it looks like it is going to work. So I'm just doing random jump drive. We will zip out into nowhere. And you can probably use this jump drive on anything else you wanted to. I'm using it for my Serenity 85 Firefly ship, but if you wanted to use something else, by all means, go right ahead. No. Over, overspun. And let me just zip back over there one more time. Yes, and then we will take a look at the jump drive itself. Go, go, jump drive!
Okay, so let's go ahead. We are not near the space station because you do not land directly on the space station. Um, we're going to pull in just a little bit closer, I think, before I jump out of my spaceship. Not that I need to, really. It's just, you know, scenery purposes. And so you can see how the Serenity moving on its own. Um, turn off the inertial dampener so we can get a little better speed. See, it's not a... This has got pretty good speed on it. The jump drive, though, you really don't need it that much. Takes a little while to, to kick into stopping motion, though. Put the brakes on a little while ago. Um, the back drives are actually a lot bigger than the front drives. You could swap them out for larger drives, but I liked the look better. I was going for look. And you can always flip your ship around, too, if you need to stop fast, so that's always an option. Those drives will stop pretty fast that way. Let's just hop out here. Out of our upper area here, which is airlocked very nicely. Um, let's pull down and look at the jump drive itself. Um, the jump drive here has, of course, the module has a jump drive on it, of course. It's got some connectors that are hooked to the bottom of the ship there right now. Both of them are on. It has two solar panels to give you a good connection to it. It has two more, well, three more connectors down here, depending on what kind of ship you're hooked to. I decided I would just add some more um, so you could connect it to various types of ships. And we have four batteries to store power in um, to save up for the jump drive so that even when it's not hooked up to something, it can be recharging if it needs to be. There's no engines on it, there's no flight deck, uh, flight seat, I mean. Um, just the bare basics is what I really wanted to put on here, because the rest of it's on the ship. It's a module. It's not meant to do the whole ship. So I hope you like this thing here, the jump drive module, and I hope it's helpful to you. I'm going to post it on the, the workshop on Steam, Space Engineers. And let me know if you did like it. Um, if you liked the video and if you liked the jump drive itself, the jump drive module, let me know by giving them a thumbs up. And leave me some comments as to what you think, what I might do to improve it. If you see anything that I'm missing that might be helpful here or that I did wrong. Um, just remember when you're connecting these uh, connectors here, um, if these are both set to me, if one of them set to me and one of them set to nobody, they're not going to connect. Um, so make sure you get it them hooked up properly so they'll work and I think that's about it so check out my other stuff on Serenity and I will be following up sometime to explain the shuttle there that's sitting up here, right up here we'll go a little bit over on what's happening with that shuttle there and subscribe for future content if you're not a member of my channel on YouTube or on the workshop for for space engineers and I will see you in the next one Get on with your pursuit.